Hi friends, welcome to Ahilu Arts channel. Uh, I am Uma. In this video, we are going to see how to join Granny Squares. Um, different methods. But before seeing the different methods, I just wanted to let you know um, which method should be uh, done for which product. Okay. I just wanted to know when we should use the particular method for which product um, before we know how to do that. Okay. Um, many people uh, many of you might know how to join the granny square but they it, it may not after joining it may not be a uh, it may not be the quite same what they have expected so for that what we are going to do is uh, we just wanted to know how the look and feel is and we just wanted to decide beforehand um, for what product we are doing and how the look and feel should be okay i'll show you different types of uh, joining and the look and feel see here you can see the uh, I have done all the heart squares uh, separately and I have joined you can see the um, green uh, line and the red line here right um, I just used a single crochet joining okay so that I just want to see it completely what I was supposed to say is see here you can see the bulges here right if you want the um if you want to see the bulges uh, and you you want to feel it then you will be using the single crochet joining okay this is not a square actually it's a hexagon but i have used the single crochet joining okay but at the same time you just want to uh, see here um in this blanket i have joined the same i have joined with the slip stitch all these are slip stitches I have joined with a white color so that I will see it but I will not feel it as much as it is like single crochet see you can see the uh, squares are not bulging uh, squares are not uh, um, below the joining right it is on the same level but I all I have joined here and on the same side so that my front side will be of joining free you can see there is no joining no white uh, crisscross lines like this in here right so if you want to make uh, the front side to be uh, joining less you can join everything with a slip stitch and with the wrong side okay and um, see here I have done the uh, flower granny square right uh, I am I just want to see the flowers in this side so I have to join only in the back side see all the joinings are in on my back side so that my right side will be only the flask okay so um, see here here I just wanted a identical um, blanket both on on both sides so what I have done is I have joined all the vertical sides on one side you can see no horizontal joining right you can see only the uh, black joining line on vertical right this way also you can join this this way you can have a identical blanket you can see the black line is only on vertical side so that the horizontal line will be joining in the other side so that when you see it will be on identical on both the sides okay uh, since this is a puff stitch um, it will be identical on both sides so I have joined one on other one on one side and the other other line on other sides but not like this because this is a bulging floor so I just wanted the, only the floor on this side and the joining everything will be on the other side okay so um, I just wanted to um, let you know that before joining make sure what you are going to make and uh, how it has to look and feel okay if you want a bulging uh, joining you go for a slip stitch sorry if you, you go for a single crochet joining if you don't want the bulging you just want a uh, edging of um, perfect edging then you go for a slip stitch joining okay if you don't want anything it, it you want to have a invisible joining because you are making a dress or a poncho or a sweater or anything you don't want to have any joining because the joining can be seen only for blankets rugs like that 
or bags even handbags okay but um, when you wear it um, when you have a wrap or anything you don't want to have the joining um, to be seen okay so for that you will go for the yarn needle okay um, so currently we will be having a slip single crochet joining slip stitch joining and the yarn needle joining okay among these three methods what you can do is there is a peculiar um, condition you have to make note of see here we have two loops here and uh, right we have a uh, two loops here and two loops here right um, when joining the yarn needle many people will join with both the loops like with all the four loops here the two loops in the this square and two loops in this square they will be joining all the um, four loops sorry the camera is blur right um, but what I want to to know is we don't want any um, joining seen in the front side so what I suggest you is always join the granny square from the back side okay see this is my right side this is my right side of the granny squares right so when you join don't make it the right side faces right side don't uh, hold it like this and join because you don't want anything to uh, be visible here while using yarn needle okay so what you have to do is make the wrong side seen see here this is my wrong side this is my wrong side so i am joining on the back side so whatever i am making i am joining on the back side so that my front side will not have anything right so you should not use the both the loops right what i want you to use is use the front loop of the first gr front granny square and the back loop of the back granny square by this way when you open this up you will have both the starting loops untouched so that it will not be visible whatever you are sewing it up it will not be visible okay so let us see the first method what I am having is you don't have to use the same um, uh, contrast color you can use the same color if you don't want to make the join um, joining visible I just wanted to show you the difference right so that's why I'm using this color okay see here the front loop of front side and the back loop of back square when I join like this and again the front loop of front square and the back loop of back square I'm just making a two knots so when we have here it will not be it will not be as such as the front loop of both the sides when you have it the, since this is looser it is not it is visible now but when you do a tighter knot I mean tighter sewing it will not be visible only two uh, loops in the, that is in the front loop of this square and the front loop of this square will be visible okay so it will be all the sewing will be in the back side so you won't be seeing it at all okay well, I'll show you how the um, sewing with both the sides will be because uh, many of us don't want to have the um, don't want to see the sewing uh, in the front side right so um, it is not good to have both this both the loops okay so I'll show you an example how it how horrible it will be see here you can see the stitches here right I have used both the loops by mistaken I have used both the loops with this blanket see 
and then it is not a bulging but uh, I am seeing the uh, stitches on both the sides even though this is my right side I should not uh, have this stitches seen you can see right even though the colors of the blanket are uh, green and uh, red I am seeing the white thread uh, running in between as the stitch so this is what happens when you use both the loops okay so we don't want any of that happen see here I'll show you when you use both the loops of this granny square and both loops of this granny square it will not be quiet as expected so make sure unless you want um, the solid joining you have to sew it up only with front loop of front square and back loop of back square okay so this is how it will be so this is a common simple method of joining the granny square you just sew it up with both the loops or only one loop of both granny square and you can have the joining right so that's why I told you see here we are seeing the round it is not it will not be visible if you use the same pink color to join but I just wanted to let you know how the joining will be okay so it will be like um, you can use again for all the three methods like simple um, single crochet or uh, um, slip stitch or sewing it up you can either use only one loop or you can use both the loops of both granny squares right so this is a simple and easy method for joining the granny by using yarn needle okay so we'll see next two methods like um, with slip stitch as well as the single crochet okay right now we see how to join the granny square with single crochet okay again I'm saying uh, what I have shown you in the blanket image if you don't want to see the um, stitch see here all the stitches are on back sides and the front side will be spotless okay here also all the stitches are on the back sides all the joinings and there is no joining in the front side okay so make sure which way you want to join this is my right side okay so I want to have my joining on the right side so I will be having both my right sides joining see here this is also my right side this is also my right side if you see the right side um, and you unjoin then the joining will be on in front uh, front side on the right side okay so if you don't want to uh, if you don't want to join uh, as a visible joining what you have to do you have to make sure you see the wrong side see here this is my wrong side this is my wrong side so if, if I join in here when I open it up my joining will be on the wrong side and then the front side I will not see any joining okay so make sure which way you want to join right this holds good for both single crochets joining as well as slip stitch joining okay so if you want the join uh, if you want the slip stitch or single crochet visible you have to uh, make with the right side facing right if you don't want to see the joining you have to make sure you have the wrong side facing you okay so let us start doing some joining here also like when uh, like we see the um, yarn needle joining you can use either both loops or only one loops right always join I always start joining from the corner here so I will insert here and uh, with both the corners chain one okay so I will do the single crochet stitch so you see here I am doing a single crochet in the same chain space 
because we have two chains in the corner right so we will be having one one single crochet here and when we go round and round when you use a square next to square to join this side you will do one more grand, uh, single crochet here right we should not miss any stitch right fine so now insert into the next double crochet and in the next double crochet do the single crochet okay I prefer to use both the loops when you do the uh, right side joining okay uh, when you do the wrong side joining uh, use only the front loop of front um, front square and the back loop of back square okay that will be very good if if you use both the loops for the front side there will be no difference right because anyway you want to um, you want to see the joining uh, that's why you are doing on the front side so there will be no wrong in using both the loops here see here what I'm doing is I'm just making sure I, I do double single crochet in all the double crochets and in the chain spaces too um, my tip is don't uh, insert the chain space like this okay don't do the single crochet like uh, in pulling the yarn into the chain space what I will do is I will I will take only the two loops of the chain I leave the back hump behind you can see here the back hump is uh, below the hoop I am taking only the two loops of chain like we are taking only two loops of the stitch I am taking see here by this way you have some pink lift uh, which will not be a uh, mm, which uh, see here all the joinings are on the pink only you can have the pink left eye in the chain space also I'll show you the difference if not you are choosing only the two loops of the chain but if you are uh, just doing the single crochet through the chain space I will show you how it will be see here now I am inserting and pulling up the all the stitch see here it is not quite right right all the single crochets are um, having some pink left but here it is not like that that's only space so I don't like the look of it so that's why what I will do even though when I do the single crochet or the slip stitch I will choose only the two loops I mean two front loops of the chain not the back hump okay so by this way your single crochet will be a decent one okay it is also having a pink um, remaining so this is how our joining will be right so in the next side I will show you how to join the same with the slip knot so that you can see the difference A single piece okay see I only choose the loops not the chain space hole right again I'm saying if you don't want the joining to be seen on the front side you have to choose the wrong side to join at the same time you need not have to do the joining on both the loops that is either on the front loop or on the back loop you can choose only one loop that is front loop of the front uh, square and the back loop of back square okay see here we have reached the end what I told you since we have two chains we will do one single crochet now for this square and when I join the other square on this side I will do the next uh, uh, single crochet for the next square see now you see how I have 
joint when you see this side this is my wrong side it will not be visible the same way if you don't want to see the uh, joining on the front side you can join on the back side so that your right side will be of no stitch right so this is how we will be joining using single single crochet now i will show you how to join with the slip stitch okay see here we have reached i will join it here so that we can see the difference between both the joining okay again i am saying you can always choose two loops or single loop right so what we have seen we have known that um, one single crochet for one chain has already done so the next usually when you join uh, one square with single crochet you will join the same with same um, you will join by the same method throughout but since i wanted to show you i will just do the slip stitch see here i am inserting into the corner always start from the corner okay inserting into the corner and the corner of the new square pull up a loop and i will do the slip stitch okay now first double crochet of the front square and the back square do the slip stitch when you do the slip stitch it will be buried under the um, stitch when you use uh, the same yarn as you as of the corner color you will not see a difference here also don't use the slip stitch in the space okay what i uh, want you to do is always choose the first two loops of the chain and the leave the back hump behind okay so this is how our slip stitch joining will be okay so this is why you have to make sure that what product you are making and how you want to um, have the look and feel right so when you do the single crochet your joining will be visible on both the squares of um, both the squares but when you do the slip stitch joining your joining will be visible on only one square see here on the front part it is not visible right here the slip stitch is visible on the top here the slip knot is under the side so make sure um, well, as I already told this will be good when you make a purse or a bag or a, um, blanket or anything but it will not be good when you uh, have a wrap or a poncho or a shawl or a um, sweater or any other thing you wear on okay so make sure you are sewing it up for the wraps or any other uh, clothing but when you go for a blanket or a purse or bag any other accessories you go for single crochet joining okay slip stitch joining you can use only when you have a bedspread or any other thing which will not be a frequent take and use okay it will be uh, the bedspread will be lying on the bed and you will not take it again and again why because when you do the slip, slip stitch joining this um, joining tends to become loose see here so it will be it will be good for a wet spread so that you won't take it again and again but if you use um, the slip stitch joining for bag you will be using that daily so again the stitch will be becoming loose so for that matter uh, for bag and other um, accessories you will be joining only with the single crochet joining okay either in the front side or back side that is up to you okay so again for all these uh, chain spaces i am choosing only the two loops of the chain not the whole chain space okay see here if you use the same color i just wanted to show you the difference i i chose the um, contrast color you can choose the same color of the last row so that you will be having the same i mean you will not see the stitch but you you will feel it just feel it okay so 
so this is how we will be joining the granny square with traditional method okay these are the there are some other uh, methods also to join we will see them in the different video okay see here i have come here you should not um, stop here after the double crochet what we have to do we have to make sure that one stitch should be done with the one joining okay because when we join the other square here we will join in the corner with another stitch so when we join the other square here we will be taking care of the next stitch next stitch corner okay so make sure whenever you join uh, any square you have to make sure it will it is start in the corner and end in the corner okay see here this also will not be seen on the back side okay so if you don't want to have this stitch on the front side you can always have it on the back side so that you will not see in the front you can see how the slip stitch slip stitch joining and the single crochet joining works right so this is how the normal single um, normal granny joining will be you can this holds good for any granny square now with central center circular granny square or um, um flower granny square any other granny square for that matter these are the traditional methods you will be you uh, you will be using to join okay so single crochet method slip stitch method yarn needle method all these three methods will be having two types that is either only one loop or with both the loops right so um i hope you enjoyed this video if you find it useful please like it and share it with your friends comment your suggestions in the comment box feel free to check out my etsy shop the link is right down in the description and if you like our uh, if you like our facebook page subscribe to the channel thank you